Hey everybody, it's Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to talk about a monkey pillowcase that I received uh, not too long ago from uh, Wallace Hunter, uh, also known as Super Chef. Um, Wallace Hunter and his wife hiked 1,500 miles of the Appalachian Trail back in 2011, and uh, this is actually something that stemmed um, from that hike. Uh, before he left on that hike, he was in search of a something to rest his head on at night um, that would provide him comfort, support, as well as keep the pillow underneath his head uh, rather than you know running after it all night. And uh, this is actually a later version of uh, what he decided or what he came up with before he left. Uh, he calls these monkey pillows uh, simply because it has a monkey on it and uh, it is a pillow. Well, to be quite fair, it's not a pillow. The item that he makes is actually just the pillow case and you provide your own pillow to go with it. Um, however, he contacted me a little while back and asked me if I'd be interested in checking one out and I said, sure thing. Um, to be honest, whenever I first saw his video, I think it was around January 2011, uh, where he was showing his first monkey pillow that he ever made, I actually liked it so much that I went out and tried to replicate it myself. I will admit that in the end, I decided to uh, not use it because um, the one that I came up with uh, weighed a little more uh, than what I wanted to carry. So I ended up, uh, I've used a, a number of things since then. Um, but anyway, when he contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in checking one out, I said, sure thing. Um, just so you know, right off the bat, he sent this to me free of charge. This is actually a prototype one that he, uh, he made up. He is offering these for sale for $16. He has a uh, store set up on Etsy that you can purchase these through. And uh, I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit about it and show you how it works. So first off, what he did, uh, basically this is a pillowcase. As you can see, uh, the pillow fits right inside. I have a flex air pillow. Uh, and to be fair, this flex air pillow is a little bit bigger than this pillowcase. Uh, there are some things that I think he's still working on and I think size may be one of those things. Um, so this is just the one I happen to have in here right now because I've become a huge fan of the flex air pillows. Um, so what he's done here is he's made a pillowcase and he's put two straps on it that you can see here. Now what, the, what you do is you open up the pillowcase, you insert the pillow, and then you pull the straps back over the bottom of the pillowcase. And just so you'll know, uh, this is some sort of micro fleece or something. I'm not exactly sure what kind, but it's super soft material. Um, it's really, it feels really nice on, you know, it's got a really nice hand to it. It feels really nice when I lay my face on it, my head on it, it feels really nice. The back of it is some sort of a uh, ripstop nylon or something. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, and then this is just some elastic cord um, that he uses here. And it's really cool because the way he's designed it here, whenever you slip it on your sleeping pad, which I'll show you in just a second, um, because of these cords, it will actually seal the end of this off. So right there, that's going to solve two problems. It's actually going to keep your pillow inside your pillowcase, so your pillow's not squirting out the end of the pillowcase. And then also, these straps are going to hold the pillow in place on your sleeping pad. And it's, it's really simple to do. You just take your sleeping pad, and uh, you take one of the one of them and pull it around, take the other one, pull it around, and then just kind of center it where you want it. Go ahead and kind of get the pillow inside it, fix up how you want it, and then there you go. I'll show you on the top here. Okay, this is what it looks like from the top. You can see I've got the straps wrapped around the, the sleeping pad on both sides, and that pillow is not gonna go anywhere. I can stand this thing up completely straight, and it's there. Of course, because the end of it does seal, uh, the pillow's not gonna squirt out the end either. And that's what it looks like on the back. So to be honest, this is one of those designs that you kind of slap yourself and say, why didn't I think of that? Uh, I want to say that it's a super cool idea that uh, Wallace has. Um, I think he's implementing it really well. Um, as I said, I think that he's still working on a couple of things, maybe size, maybe some of the material. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, um, he's, uh, he's just kind of working to make this thing happen. Uh, he actually, like I said, he hiked 1,500 miles of the trail with his first version of this pillow. 
Uh, so he had plenty of time to learn what it is that he liked about it, if there was anything else that he wanted to change about it, uh, anything like that. So he's had, he's had plenty of time to uh, perfect his vision here. And like I said, I think he's done a good job. Uh, he's selling these for $16 a piece, like I said, on Etsy.com. You can check out his blog. It's Hike Bike Dale. Uh, and he actually has these in stock. There's a little bit. Anyway, he has some of these in stock. He makes a couple of them and keeps them in stock. So, uh, I don't know. If, uh, if, there, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below this video or on my blog, and I'll do my best to answer those questions. However, uh, if you prefer, I would say get in touch with uh, Wallace. Um, it's super easy. You should be able to go to his Etsy page and get in touch with him through there. Or you could probably get in touch with him on his blog. Um, but get in touch with him if you have any comments or anything uh, I would approach him with him and I'm sure he'd be happy to uh, answer any questions you may have and uh, You know if you think this is a great idea. I, I, I suggest you pick one up uh, like I said, this is uh, this is kind of a, a vision that he had it uh, He's trying to address a very serious issue in my opinion for hiking because in my opinion uh I like to be able to sleep good at night. If I can sleep good at night, it's gonna make my entire hike much better. And he is working on making a product to be able to uh, allow someone to do that. Uh, and of course, the last thing, the weight on this is 1.6 ounces for just the pillowcase. Of course, you choose which pillow you put on the inside, and of course, that pillow will also reflect any other weight. Uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it's a great idea, and I wanna say thanks to Wallace for sending this out and letting me check it out. I really appreciate it. And I wish you the best of luck with your, uh, your vision. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Talk to you later.